Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. So let's start with today's video. Today's video is all about that can cause aggression in dogs. Before starting the video, I would like to give little information about Rottweiler dog breed. Rottweilers come in medium to large dog breeds and they are very active and powerful dog breed. Now what do you mean by powerful breed? It's the ability of the dog to pull bite and perform activities at high level than rest of the dog breeds. The main thing is Rottweilers come in working line dog breeds. It means it needs to perform various activities and exercises on daily basis in order to shade off energy. And if this energy is not wasted, it may give rise to frustration and ultimately its aggression. So it is advisable to only own this breed if you can give sufficient time and exercise to your rotis on daily basis. Otherwise, don't complain this breed is very aggressive or beast. There is no as such things. Do you know the history of Rottweilers? They were earlier used to pull the cart full of things and used to perform that activity on daily basis with no problem. Now you can judge how powerful these breeds were. Fine, let's come back to our video. Let's talk about what things can cause aggression in Rottweilers. Now let me be very clear, not only Rottweilers but any other dog breed kept in this situation can be very aggressive. Let it be your Labrador, Golden Retriever, Boxer, Doberman, German Shepherd or any other dog breed. Not putting hand in our dog's bowl while he is eating from puppy stage. Believe me, habits are the things that can improve someone or can destroy someone. In case of Rottweilers or any other dog breed, you must, you can and you have to put your hand in puppy's bowl while he is having his food so that he can know anyone can touch him or can put their hand in his bowl while he is having his food so he doesn't attack. If he attacks or growls, take away the food from him and give it him after some time so that he can know that they will take away his food if he growl or attack. It's like punishment for them or removal of bad habit from them if he continue to do so. Start hand feeding your puppy so that he can know you are someone special. Try this procedure only on puppy and not on grown or adult dog. Because you can get injured if he attacks, so start hand feeding your big dog. This problem is called foot aggression and is seen in many puppies whose pet parents don't pay attention to these little things. Not socializing your puppy with friends, families and relatives. Due to lack of socialization, your puppy may become unwanted monster which is expected to be really territorial and possessive towards his home and family. Such dog will never welcome anyone in their house or territory. Remember, you are owning dog to be family dog and not guard dog. Now I know it's very irritating that your dog is barking, jumping or licking on your family or friends member when they enter your house during his puppy stage. But it's okay than attacking them at the same time you can hold your dog and allow him to sit with your friends and relatives while they are present there and hold him till he relaxes. Once he's calmed down, leave him if he anyways try to jump or lick them again, hold them and command them to sit with their favorite treat so that they come to know it's the thing we need to do when someone new arrives at our house. You must know from our dog's action whether he is happy or angry while seeing someone entering our house. Act smartly. If he is angry, put leash on and hold them so he could not attack. If he is happy, then simply hold his collar so that he won't attack. Not socializing your puppy with other dogs. Now believe me, sometimes an aggressive dog can tolerate some person in their territory, but they cannot tolerate any other dog in their territory. Now it sounds very normal, but ask the owners who face difficulties while handling their aggressive dogs when an unknown dog appears in front of them. It's very difficult and disturbing. Make sure you socialize your puppy with other puppies, only not directly to adult dogs because some dogs cannot tolerate and can attack your puppy and cause serious damage to them. So start introducing your puppy with another puppies. Socialize your puppy from young age so that they can know they can enjoy their playful activities with them which will again help you in shading of their energy while playing. Keeping dogs on leash for 24-7 Remember during lockdown how irritated we were when we were inside our homes for a long time? It was frustrating, right? 
the same way dogs get frustrated and angry if you tie a leash on them and keep them locked for 24/7 let it be a rottweiler or any other dog breed dogs are not meant to be free and roam in their territory freely now make sure if your dog is aggressive then his territory is closed from all the sides because he could harm anyone if he gets out of it walks 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 take your dogs on long walks if they possesses high energy and high activity level because that could help them in shading of their energy if your dog is well socialized and friendly with everyone take him to the garden and set him free so that he could run around and play around with other dogs now don't set free the dogs which have high activity level and which doesn't listen to your commands it will be very really messy Imagine running behind your dog that to in public park would create great nuisance so keep him on leash at that point and set him free once you are at home not giving your dog a proper exercise now before starting this point i don't want you to make the same mistake which i made i took my dog for long walks during very young age as he was very active so i thought taking him on long walks may solve this problem but i was wrong due to over exercise he started limping from one leg and his growth lagged at great extent i mean he's growing but not at the same way a real rottweiler grows but i think it's my fault that i over exercised my dog which was the worst mistake of my life he's fine and growing well now never exercising your puppy give birth to variety of problem starting from aggression to digestion to joint problem to weight gain so exercise your dog accordingly and think before what you're owning